Today we are going to learn how to read dates in English. There are different rules from Spanish. The first first great difference is how they divide the time before Christ and after Christ. In Spanish we say before and after, but they don't. They say BC before Christ, this is equal, but difference after Christ. We, they say a Latin expression that means the year of God, Anno Domini. Then, when you refer to a date before Christ, you could say BC, but after Christ you must say AD or Anno Domini. Right? Well, when we talk about dates, there are some rules that we must follow. The main rule, the general rule, we divide, we split the date into two numbers. In this case, this is not 1492, but it is 1492. You can see the colors 1492. This is the main rule. This is that the thing that we should do with all the dates, but there are exceptions. Well, what happened when we found a zero in the third digit? Very easy. We say 1805. 1805. This is read as O. When we find two zeros at the end, we say 1800. 1800. Okay? Between 100 and 1000, we can say both. We can divide it into two numbers or we can say as a single number 711 or 711 both are correct what happened with the numbers between 1000 and 1009 and 2000 onwards it says as a number as a single number 2005 the final rule is that the years lower than 100, we normally must say year 43. We must include the expression year in order to not, not confuse this number with another kind of number. That's the reason because we should say year. Well, we can group the years into different, uh, different groups and those are the most common. First of all, decade. 10 years long, a century, 100 years, a millennium, 1,000 years. And we also have era or age. It's a group of years that is not uh, something determinate. It depends on the era and the pain of the age. For example, Ice Age or uh, Middle Ages or Contemporary Air Age. Well, depending on the 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 era could be longer or shorter well the centuries are named by the first year of the century the 20th century or the 18th century or the 16th century notice that the centuries are read with the ordinal number the ordinal number and finally millennium are named after the last year of the millennium second millennium or third millennium. It's important to remember the ordinal numbers. In this chart we can find all of them. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Normally it's the cardinal number followed by TH or uh, RD, ND, well you know it. The exception 12th, 21st, 100th, well you can uh, discover all the ordinal levels through this chart. Thank you very much. That's all.